Hi, I'm Jason DeVos, Technical Director of Oakville Soccer Club. Advancing every player means we've mapped out a clear pathway for player development at each level from house league to player elite. Over the course of this presentation, I will be discussing the OSC player development philosophy, giving an overview of our technical program design, explaining our coach development strategy, outlining our new staff coach structure and support network, and giving a brief explanation of our development programs. There are multiple benefits to the development programs at OSC. We will, first and foremost, focus on skill development of each and every one of our players while promoting enjoyment of the game. We will drive coaching excellence in all of our programs by offering continuous and ongoing development and support for all of our coaches. We will offer our players greater access to development programs by putting in place a clear and concise development pathway. We will also make a significant investment into player development during key developmental years. The concept of advancing every player is simple. Children develop at different rates. We feel that it is imperative that we, as a club, give every one of our players the opportunity to develop his or her ability to its fullest extent on their own time. The focus of our programs, especially at the earlier ages, is on individual skill development. At these ages, winning does not matter and will never be placed ahead of the developing the technical ability of our players. The irony is, the better job we do of developing technically skilled players, the more likely they will go on to achieve success in the game. The player development pathway at OSC will follow the seven stages of player development outlined in the CSA long-term player development document, Wellness to World Cup. For more information on LTPD, please go to the OSC website and follow the link. The OSC player development pathway will play a very active role in the early developmental years of our players, in particular stage three of LTPD, learning to train, between the ages of eight and twelve. It is during these years that players can make tremendous strides in skill acquisition, and all of our programs will be aligned to facilitate this. When we develop players who are capable of competing at the elite level, we will gladly partner with outside organizations to facilitate their development. The Ontario Soccer Association, Canadian Soccer Association, and professional clubs like Toronto FC all play an important role in elite player development, and they are organizations that we will work closely with to develop our top players. There are essentially five phases of player development at OSC, ranging from under four through to adult recreational soccer. At any time between the ages of eight and 18, players can choose to move into youth recreational soccer, which is fun-focused soccer without the time commitments required in some of the more advanced programs of the club. Not every player wants to be an elite soccer player, and many of them play the game because they enjoy the game and want to participate with their friends. These players will be supported by strong base level house league coaching so that they too are given the opportunity to develop their skills in a less taxing environment. All of our programs were designed with seven principles in mind. First and foremost, all of our program, programs are player centric. This means that we put the development of the players ahead of all else. Our programs are all delivered by coaches can be paid staff coaches or volunteers. All of our coaches will be given developmental opportunities and support by the club so that they can do the best job possible delivering our programs. We will endeavor to have consistent and routine player assessments done so that parents will know and understand the criteria being used to assess players. We will ensure that as a club we can identify players at every level of the club who are talented and will benefit from being involved in a more advanced development program. We will have structured, routine parent communication so that you, the parents, understand the programs that your children are involved in. And finally, we will develop long-term partnerships with organizations that put the development of players at the forefront of their programs. Under the previous program structure, there was a perceived separation between the academy and rep programs and the house league program. Moving forward, our programs will become much more accessible. Age group head coaches will be expected to develop relationships with all of our house league coaches so that if there is a talented player within the house league program, he or she will be identified and offered an opportunity to play at a more competitive level. 
all of the programs in the club will have a heavy emphasis on technical skill development so that players can learn and develop the core skills required for long-term success in the game. In order for us to develop players, we must first develop those individuals who will be responsible for teaching them, the coaches. Our goal is to become recognized as a center of excellence in coach development in Canada, and we will do this by driving coaching excellence at all levels of the club. Together with Rafael Carbajal, our coaching development manager, I will be developing an introduction to coaching course that will be made available to all of our house league coaches. As a club, we will continue to host OSA coaching certification courses so that all of our coaches have an opportunity to gain their formal coaching qualifications. We will also work with our coaches by providing mentoring and online support as they strive to gain higher level coaching certification. In short, we will be providing them with an education with respect to teaching players how to play the game of soccer. In the fall, we will be implementing a new coaching structure at the club. The under 11 to under 18 age categories will have age group head coaches for each gender. The responsibilities of these coaches will include the development of players and coaches within their respective age group and gender, as well as identifying coaching development needs within the house league program. A unified approach to coaching within each age category, as well as across the club, is essential to the successful development of our players and coaches. Rafael Carbajal is the new coach development manager at the club. Rafa will work closely with me to develop all of the coaches at the club, from the house league all the way up to the age group head coaches. He will work closely with all of our coaches to help each of them develop and will be responsible for monitoring and identifying any deficiencies that may exist in our inventory of coaches. He will also be responsible for identifying talented coaches within our house league program who may wish to further their coaching careers at a more competitive level. Our new coaching structure involves volunteer house league, volunteer rep B and rep C coaches, as well as parent, technical and referee advisory groups. These are shaded in blue. The coaching positions shaded in red are paid staff coaches, either full-time, part-time, or contract-based. Rafael Carbajal will work alongside me to develop all of our coaches, while I, as technical director, will oversee all of our coaches and advisory groups. Our open development program is available to all of our house league players. The curriculum is focused on developing the core fundamentals of every player so that they can achieve success over the long term. Registration for the open development program is on a first come, first serve basis. Our rep program begins at under 11 and is open to any player involved in any of the programs of the club from the house league to the open development to the advanced development program. I encourage you to read through our technical development plan and our FAQ document. Both items are available on the home page of our website, which extensively outlines a number of things discussed in today's presentation. I will also be hosting a Q&A session for our under 11 to under 18 house league on Tuesday, August 9th at the club. In the fall, I will be leading a coaching clinic at Pine Gun Soccer Center, to which you'll be invited to attend. Details of the date and time will be sent to you as soon as they are available. Thank you.